On to our big story here on Magic Bricks. Now, open plots in Delhi are fast turning into garbage landfills and authorities are turning a blind eye. This despite the severe public health crisis that has seen over 1,000 confirmed cases of chikungunya from the national capital alone. Deepa Rana gets us this special report. See, I've been staying here for the last 25 years. And this place was actually not a, it was a plain with lots of uh, trees, but the trees have been cut and it has been being used as a dumping ground now. So, garbage dumping ground, I mean. And uh, look at this, all the garbage here. I'm sure this is also a breeding place for mosquitoes. And these days, chikungunya and uh, dengue are on the rise. You know it very well. And this is happening. And this, this is not the only place in Vasant Kunj. There are other places also which are affected by this kind of... Also the open garbage everywhere. And that's becoming a nuisance actually, as a matter of fact. So when you've been staying here, explain to us that have you approached the government or the civic bodies over here or the RWAs and what sort of response are you getting from them? See, I did. we did approach, all of us got together, went to the RWA, they promised us to fumigate the whole place, fine, our, our own colony was fumigated, but what about the places like this? I mean, look, look what's happening, the breeding place is this right here. So only fumigation or cleanliness of the house is not important. It's the cleanliness of the whole place which is important. The background, the out, in a place outside and uh, your uh, near places, that's what. So especially when you're talking about this particular garbage dump, it has been a DDA land for a very long time. We had also seen a board over here of DDA. But never has the inspection been done on these kind of dumping grounds? I, have you got any kind of uh, I have no idea about that. But I know there were lots of trees earlier. And uh, I, I, I don't know where those trees have gone now. And uh, of course, uh, the DDS sign has also gone off. I, somebody's picked it up or whatever. And it's become a dumping place, totally. And, uh, Especially when this place is very near to the market area. It's just across Big Bazaar. Just across Big Bazaar, that is the one, uh, Vasant Square Mall. And, you know, everybody's around here. People are walking around. It's very close to the residential place also. Next, this is a residential play, uh, colony next door completely. I think in our colony also, every second house has one case of chikungunya or dengue. So when this kind of cases are erupting, open spaces are there around uh, colonies all across the city. Do you think that somewhere the government is lagging behind or the civic bodies are not taking their correct action? I definitely feel that uh, RWAs should get together with the MCD people and do something about it. I, th I think it's very important for everybody that was the garbage problem which has been erupting all across the city where we have so much of garbage being thrown all across the city but therefore the government or the uh, civic bodies though claim that they've been doing fumigation but nothing on ground has been done as to control this kind of open spaces which have been breeding grounds for mosquitoes. All right, to give us more perspective on this, of course, Raman Malik of the BJP joins us on the phone line. Uh, Mr. Malik, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, first of all, tell us the problem of vector borne diseases, of course, only gets worse. It seems like the Delhi state government is not doing its job. See, uh, first of all, uh, I would like to say that this time is not about uh, uh, putting a blame game because the Delhi is suffering. And putting a blame and playing a game on that is not uh, what BJP would like to do. But having said that, it is a matter of fact and record that Delhi is suffering. And the same MCD, the same state, almost the same number of people were there in the last so many years. There was an opposition government and there was a MCD which was under BJP. But in those 10 years, there had been never an outbreak and a chaos like this. And uh, if you go on further, at every, every, every point, this government in Delhi, which I would uh, restrain myself to just say this is an anarchist uh, clan which is operating in Delhi, is least bothered about Delhi and more bothered about giving false pretext on everything. They have said something and they've always done the other thing. Uh, 
when they said they will clean Delhi up and they will do this and they will do that, at that time they had no idea. If they say today that Arvind Kejriwal or his ministers do not have the money to buy even a 10 rupees pen, then how come they can uh, extend their vacations off to Finland and other places? And best part is that uh, if one goes further, Arvind Kejriwal may be saying and doing and showing whatever, but Manish Sisodia has been visiting countries and places which have been renowned for money laundering. Whether it is Amsterdam and uh, Helsinki, they're both the places of late have been known for money laundering. So I, I really don't know where, what is uh, what Delhi picked up. And since Delhi picked up something, we have to bear with it. And we are with Delhi. And we will stand by Delhi. We are not here to do politics at this moment. We are here to give relief. Whether it is whatever way, we will do it. All right, all right, Mr. Malik. Also, uh, Gaurav Bhatia of Amadmi Party joins us on the phone line right now. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, uh, Mr. Bhatia, tell us this. According to our reporter just now, open spaces in Delhi have become unofficial garbage dumps. Delhi is literally being allowed to go to the dumps. What do you have to say to this? Is the Delhi government to blame? First of all, I'm not from Amadmi Party. I'm from the Samajwadi Party. And I would only say that it is a very unfortunate uh, situation in Delhi because all that the BJP and the Aam Admi Party are doing is they're only passing the buck. Uh, they have been blaming each other, but they have not come together, putting aside their differences to ensure that all medical facilities and preventive measures are undertaken by all of them. All I right. think it is time... All right, Mr. Malik, I want you to come in on this. The Delhi government has now said that people are dying because of multi-organ failure, not chikungunya. Do you think the government is dodging its responsibility? Pardon, ma'am. Uh, so I said that the Delhi government, of course, is saying at this point in time that people are dying because of multi-organ failure and not chikungunya. What do you have to say that, uh, to this? I, I, I somehow, uh, you know... And I believe Gaurav Bhatia also would uh, be interested to hear this. Uh, our learned uh, friend from Aam Admi Party, who happens to be Delhi Home Minister, at the same time Delhi Health Minister, goes on to say on record that nobody dies from chicken gunya. Uh, for his information, him being a doctor, uh, he would know that the cause of death could be as small as a normal flu. So somebody talking like this is utter uh, disgrace to the very uh, degrees that you have. Now, when you talk about people don't die from vector-borne disease, one must understand that mutation of the uh, organisms have taken over in the last decade. There has been a rapid mutation into the structure of the, uh, the uh, organisms. Now... If a doctor says this and does not go to the extent of looking into whether he needs research on this and what is the Delhi Health Department doing, how are they going to prevent vector-borne disease? I'll tell you something. In Gurgaon right now, you will be surprised to know that we carry on uh, fumigations of every nook and corner. And even if anybody from uh, the organization or there is even a tweet, uh, tweet that goes to the MCG, the team responds within 24 hours to that location, fumigates and, uh, you know, tries to take off things. So that is the kind of response that is required. And Delhi government, unfortunately, is for their own fun. They are not there for people. All right, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us on Magic Bricks Now. You can watch live TV on our website, mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Magic Bricks Now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at Magic Bricks Now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash Magic Bricks Now.